there is a lot of research that focuses on making wheelchairs autonomous. However, if we look at the needs of the people who are going to use this, there are certain scenarios and situations that call for shared control. This is Konev, a semi-autonomous wheelchair that prioritizes sharing control with its user. It was developed by Michigan engineering researchers to help relieve some of the challenges wheelchair users may have with navigating and maneuvering through environments that are complex or unfamiliar. Some of these obstacles are so profound that uh, individuals may often decide instead of going through those difficulties, they might as well not partake in a particular activity. As the need for temporary and permanent use of wheelchairs rises, assistive tech like robotic and autonomous wheelchairs could go a long way in promoting independent mobility and reducing reliance on caregivers. But they often fail to consider a user's personal preferences while navigating and maneuvering. Perhaps the user, if they were driving the wheelchair manually, may have um, a comfortable speed at which they travel in a straight line. Maybe they have a comfortable distance and speed uh, at which they pass through other humans in the hallway. Okay, I got it. Got it? Yeah, I got it. During that time, maybe you have some issues. With Konav, a user can choose their preferred path through an environment and let the wheelchair guide them to their destination. Along that path, Konev observes the surroundings by maneuvering around and avoiding any obstacles in the way. If the chair gets too close to something, or the user feels like the chair is not navigating how they prefer, they can take back control. Trust is very important in this type of situation because there are so many things at stake, correct? You want to trust that you're going to be safe and then any people in the environment are going to be safe. When you feel it is too close to the wall or too close to the obstacle? It's about the user through demonstration over time, letting the robotic platform know what its preferences are under what set of circumstances and the robot recognizing those as a pattern and slowly imbibing them into its own behavior and autonomy. The feedback between the user and the system is very important, and that is the feedback that's going to, over time, initiate or establish that trust in the system. In the future, the researchers are planning to have wheelchair users test Konav's capabilities, which they're hoping will be the next step towards integrating the system into existing so powered wheelchairs. Uh, we we have really have uh, an opportunity uh, to make a real impact on society by supporting a group that will really benefit from having a capability like this that will keep them mobile, allow them to partake of everything life has to offer longer over time.